Hey guys, welcome back to me watching movie. Mike here. I'm here to talk about Tarzan. I know the Turtles trailer came out too. I'm waiting on Jay to get here so we can review that, hopefully. Uh, Warner Bros. spends $180 million on a Tarzan movie, which my first thought was, who the fuck wants to see a Tarzan movie? And then I thought, who the fuck wants to spend $180 million on a Tarzan movie? And then I thought, Wild Wild West, and I thought, The Lone Ranger, and I thought, it's a movie about a dude in a jungle and animals. 180 million fucking dollars? Like, do you know how many fucking movies you can make for that on the cheap? Like, how many Rockies you can make? They can't get a Jason movie or a, or a Freddy movie or a Michael Myers movie made, but they're making Tarzan for 180 million dollars, and they somehow found the time to figure out how to spend that much fucking money on a movie. So I was, I was like, this is the stupidest shit ever. Um, they got Alexander Skarsgård, if I'm saying that right, I think, and Margot Roby, uh, who's like, it's always like, oh, fuck yeah, Margot Roby, how hot is she gonna be in this movie? <laughs> and that, that's all you care about. I don't think you're gonna top that, uh, Suicide Squad shit, though. I mean, with her hanging upside down from a cage. <laughs> I, mean, I like both of those. That was Eric from True Blood. He's a badass. He had sex with Sookie. That uh, makes me mad. I'm more Team Bill with his, like, terrible acting skills. Like, suck it! <laughs> suck it! I like Margot Robbie a lot, so that's cool. That's a perfect, really, Tarzan Jane combo, really. I never, I don't know much about the Tarzan story or anything like that, but, and honestly, I know how it goes. I just don't care. It's Tarzan. Like, it's been done a hundred times. The, the, the prospect of the movie alone is, isn't something that I'm like, ooh, guy in his underwear in the woods talking to animals. It's Aquaman on land. But I, want, I watched the trailer and people were talking about it and I didn't want to review it because I wanted to be fair to it. After you watch the trailer, it actually looks interesting. It looks pretty damn good. It looks like a fun, fun, adventure-ass movie. Then Batman begins fucking Tarzan. I mean, over at Warner Brothers, I guess they were like, Well, it worked once! Let's just do it every movie forever! That's the studio mentality. But it works here. It looks kind of cool. Christoph Waltz is in this. So if you got Christoph Waltz in it, you know, okay, they're taking it sort of seriously because he's a badass. What Alexander Skarsgård does for abs, and he's a good actor as well, Christoph Waltz does for acting. Yeah. But yeah, they show up, and I'm not sure what Christoph Waltz's character is. I don't know if he's a good guy, bad guy. What all I know is the trailer happens, a bunch of action happens, but the roar, the, the aww thing, um, sounds amazing. It's like, holy shit. When Christoph Waltz stand there and he hears it, he's like, Oh. <laughs> so that sounds awesome. The action looks good. The only sad, uh, you gotta worry about when they spend this much money on a movie about a guy in the woods. It's like, how much fucking CGI can you do? Uh, the monkeys, yeah, the apes are a little CGI, uh, but not, not, they, I didn't see anything really terrible looking. Um, they just did Planet of the Apes, so it's kind of weird to have a movie with all the apes in it, but whatever. It's really dark, really serious tone. I like that, because to make Tarzan enjoyable and it's not a straight up Disney movie, you gotta go that direction with it. Samuel L. Jackson's in it. Yeah, I mean, Tarzan's wearing cargo pants, but that's alright. I don't need to see a slong, you know, in the Tarzan movie. But you got some badass scenes of him fighting this indigenous ape people thing or whatever it is with all these crazy weird looking people standing around. Skarsgård beefed up. He looks like mini Thor. Chicks are gonna go crazy. Lots of tickets are gonna be bought. Good job on that one, studio. Uh, you, made, you, you made your money count on the abs. But yeah, Margot Robbie looks hot as usual in some sort of different way. You can see her and almost not know it's her in every different movie, but yet she's equally hot. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But I see her in this and I'm just like sex under a waterfall wearing dirty jungle clothes. Uh, <laughs> some cool ass fight looking scenes that at the very end you've got the, 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 the ape and Tarzan jumping in the midair to fight each other. That looks pretty badass. But yeah, good actors. You, you see Tarzan being civilized. I know that's a part of the story somewhere. I think they flipped the shit. But uh, at one point, Samuel L. Jackson's like, You're Tarzan, motherfucker! I don't know what they're doing there. But I gotta say, the movie looks really good. It looks like it was money. I won't say Will Smith. I can't say Will Smith. $180 million on a fucking movie about a guy in the jungle is never well spent. But I'll say that the movie looks pretty damn good. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look like it's gonna be uh, the flop of 2000 whenever the fuck it comes out. I still don't care that much because it's Tarzan, and I just don't care about Tarzan. But the movie looks pretty damn good. I gotta be honest with you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Do you give a fuck about this movie? Did you give a fuck before you watched the trailer how many fucks do you give on an average basis from day to day comment below let me know follow us at we watch the movie i'm mike i love your faces thanks for watching if you're new to the channel click that subscribe button and get some wham up in you jane we watched a movie yeah we watched a movie